Hey guys, today I have another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to revert back to original settings for that video I did to show you how to improve your connection. Some of you were getting, myself included, were getting, are having problems with this. So today I'm just going to show you how to revert back to original so you shouldn't actually have any problems. So once again, I'm going to be showing you on the PS3 because I don't have a PS Vita or a PS4 as of recording this video. So the first thing you need to do is you go down to your network settings under the settings section. Then you go into connection settings and then a little thing might pop up. You just press OK. And then once you're on the screen that says easy or custom, stay on that screen. Then go over to your router and reset it. There should be a little reset button on the back of the router, or you could go into the uh, settings of it and just go to restore factory defaults. If you're wondering how to do that, you go onto your browser on your computer and you type in 192.168.1.1. This isn't my IP address, by the way. This is for everyone. This is just a quick way to get into your router. Depending on what router you have, it might be slight. I would recommend uh, either contacting the manufacturer of your router or looking in the manual of it, because for me personally, it was actually a bit different. So then I ended up bookmarking it because it isn't, and I wouldn't remember the number that it is. So anyway, once you reset your router back to factory defaults, uh, it should be back to normal because after you do this on probably most or all uh, routers, it was saved to settings onto the router as well. So this just makes sure that it's completely clean. And the reason I said to go to this screen where it says easy and custom is because it completely disconnects, basically temporarily removes your router from the, like from its saved thing. Now, uh, if you're thinking, oh, well, if it's temporary, then I can just, after I reset my router, I can just back out and then I won't have to connect to it again. But no, don't do that because it will just apply all the settings all over again. So just stay on this screen and yeah, and I'll tell you now what to do. You could, if you wanted to, probably be even better just to make sure that the settings are completely removed from your router because sometimes it might actually uh, reapply them. If you have another router or if you set up your phone as a mobile hotspot and then connect your PS3 to that the, the way you normally would and then reset your other router or your main router and then uh, take it from there just to make sure like it, you do that. But that's if this... If the first method I said doesn't work, then you can do that. So anyway, once you reset your router, then all the settings will be back to factory defaults. So from there, you just want to go to easy and then scan and then connect to it and do basically all what you're, what you would usually do. And then once you've connected, then that's it. You know, it's back to normal. You're, you probably get slower speeds, but some people were having problems and this is what I had to do to revert back to original. And now I don't have any problems. So yeah, if you're not getting problems, then congratulations, because you know you can get a better connection, whereas some of us can't. But there, there is other ways like port forwarding, but that's a little more confusing. And if you're interested in a tutorial on that, then I'll make one. And what I would recommend is once you've connected to it like you normally would, rather than the way that I said to make it faster, uh, I would recommend if you know how to go to settings and then go to UPnP and enable that. This will just help to improve the connection because if you disable it, then you you definitely get problems because I had problems when I had that disabled because a lot of the time it can be disabled by default. So yeah, I just enabled it in my router settings and now it, I can connect. I don't get disconnected randomly or anything like that. It just stays connected and is usually a very secure connection. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. If you like Call of Duty videos, news and information and all map packs and all stuff like this and some gameplays, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.